I do want to get to a more serious topic, though, guys. Let's get to the ongoing drama with the Indiana Pacers and their coaching staff. First, we got a Woj report that head coach Nate Bjorkgren's future with the franchise is very uncertain. Now, Woj says the Pacers are suspending assistant coach J Greg Foster for one game, finding Goga Bittate for their heated exchange on the court. Foster was upset with the way Bittate had not defended in the lane. Bittate then went down on the other side of the court yelled an expletive at the bench after he hit a three. Vince, you know Greg Foster. What is your that's reaction the wrong, to this situation? That's the wrong guy to, to, <laughs> to, to yell something to. But, I, I, in, you know, in his defense, every player needs a guy like Greg Foster. He is passionate about the game of basketball. He is old school basketball, and he's all about respect. He will respect you. And, and you know, with everything going on in Indiana right now, they're looking for energy. He wants guys to play the right way. And that's what he's all about, playing the right way and just respect the game. Give it all you have. And, you know, sometimes Greg Foster's going to have a Greg Foster moment. He was once my teammate. And I tell you what, <laughs> he will get in your face and he will lay you down. You know, that's old school basketball. But he was one of the guys you relied on to lay you down. He was no, he's no nonsense. And, you know, young guys can't handle that sometimes. But I feel like every team needs a Greg Foster on their team. Well, Greg is one of the Pacers' big men coaches, and so that means he works with Goga all the time, and I'm sure they have uh, a lot of relationships, and they've had wonderful times, and they've gone at each other. And what Goga did is, you know, not appropriate to say to a coach, but as a coach, you cannot lose your cool like this in a game, especially as an assistant. You may say something, you may say something in a huddle, but you save this for the locker room, which is why the Pacers had to discipline him. He also disciplined Goga with a fine. But if you look at the, the players... Uh, reacting to it. The players didn't react to it well. Not only Goga, they, the players didn't like it. And so I, I respect what Vince said about wanting to fire guys up. I don't think that this is the way to go about it. And I think at the end of the day, uh, I don't know Greg like you do, Vince, but my guess is he would agree with you. Yeah, and, and no, 100 percent. I'm sorry to cut you off, Ray, though. I, I agree with you with that. And, and that's that's what I said. That's Greg being Greg. And he will he'll be the first to admit. Sometimes he'll go about it the wrong way. But I'm saying as far as internally in the locker room, uh, that's what he does. He's done, he was our coach in Atlanta, and we had a situation similar to this where, you know, he saved it for the locker room, and he got fired up in the locker room. I agree with you with not doing it on the court, and I'm sure he would admit that part. But I, I just feel like with guys now and, and, and how they are and feel like they come in and they deserve the world from day one, you need a guy like that to kind of bring it back sometimes. Yeah, it is more complicated, though, because, again, we keep hearing Nate Bjorkgren is having trouble because of his relationships with players. I'm not sure how much this helped. It might be like a time and place issue, like you guys are both saying. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.